Well, hey guys, it's Everyone 41 welcome back to another awesome big box of toys video. Let's get into this video. Woo! As you guys can see that my voice is kind of cracking and all that other stuff. I'm just getting over a cold. So bear with me, guys. I'm feeling a lot better. Yes, sir. Almost could do my voice. Um, but anyway, doing a giveaway on this channel at 100k subscribers. I'm doing a giveaway on my main channel at, a, at 3k subscribers. And... $1,000 and more will be given away, so make sure you smack the like button on my videos or subscribe to both my channels with the bell icon turned on. Watch my videos from start to finish. Leave a comment in the comment section below, and you automatically enter the giveaway, guys. So, today I'm going to be reviewing uh, my pretty much my full Jurassic Park miniature figures, I would say. I would say more of like smaller figures, not really minis, but my smaller figures in my Jurassic World collection. Bear with me guys, I don't do these videos a lot because I can't pronounce the names or don't know the names of a lot of them, so just bear with me, all right? But I hope you guys enjoyed this video because I did do a vote for you guys, uh, what you guys wanted to see. Here it is right here, and that's why we're doing this video because I got the, the other Jurassic Park thing got way more than the other one, so there you go. All right guys, here we go. I've been collecting for a little while now when it comes to the new Jurassic Park toys. And uh, this is what we have so far, this huge box of the Jurassic World, Jurassic Park, or whatever you want to call it, line. Um, so, let's get right into it. I got this little herbivore. And I also might shorten the names up instead of calling it uh, Parasaur Lophorus, I'll call it a Parasaur. So, I'll also say that too, just let you know. But, here's a cool little herbivore that I have no idea what the name is. Love the coloration on them though. I have two of these. Here's a uh, carnivore. Sick dinosaur, I love the, uh, the coloration to them. Here's a Trostoraptor. These things are so cool, especially with the new movie. Um, awesome, love the, uh, just the texture of them, looks sick. Here's a regular, oh, here's another Trostoraptor, but this one's got the uh, Battle damage, or as I like to call it, the dino damage. Pretty sick. Oh, well, here we go. We have this Velociraptor that can, like, spring oh, into action, I guess. Something like that. So pretty cool. Here is a uh, patchy Acephalosaurus, my first ever Jurassic World dinosaur that I've ever bought. It's pretty old. But it's got the damage to it. It's pretty awesome. Another one that is from the Jurassic World from back in the day, this Triceratops. Really sick. I like how it can bleed like that. Pretty awesome. All right, so we have a lot of Lost Raptors here. Bear with me, guys. And yes, this is the Lost Raptor that came with that catch and carry truck. Very cool. Or capture and carry, whatever, whatever it was called. But these Velociraptors are still pretty cool. Some of them, their mouths don't open very well. So I think that's why I rebought bought them. But still... Here's a uh, little Gallimimus, one of the first Gallimimus I've ever bought, and you guessed it, the only reason why I bought it was because of the dino damage, it's so sick, but cool Gallimimus. Oh, here we go, we have another uh, carnivore, another sick dinosaur, and then, of course it has the, the battle damage to it, very awesome, and that's not even, not even come close to it, guys, with the, uh, how much we have left in here, we have another Velociraptor. This one's beautiful. I think this is, like, one of them is, like, Charlie, Echo, Delta. There's a couple other ones. I don't know exactly what ones are what, though. It's been a long time since I watched the newer type movies. Usually the old movies I watch. Here's another Velociraptor. This one does a little dance. Pretty sick. Here's another Atroz Raptor. This one I don't really like that much because look at how, like, together his feet are. It drives me nuts. I don't know if he's supposed to stand like this or what, but... His feet are always stuck together like that. It's driving me nuts. But I like the orange. Love the orange. It's absolutely beautiful. Love the design. Here we go. We have a couple pyro raptors. Different coloration. We have more blue on his face versus this one's face. This one's got more brown. Beautiful, beautiful raptors. And this one's got a pink feather on his head. And this one only has regular brown coloration. Pretty sure one of them is the regular one. And the other one came with that... Uh, that huge play set. Well, here we go. Here's another beautiful Velociraptor. This one I like. It's all... I think this is Charlie. I'm pretty sure this is Charlie. Uh, pretty sick Velociraptor. I love the green, though. His mouth is a little loose. But... 
still very awesome. All right, next up we have another Velos Raptor. I obviously love this one because it's the white and blue. It looks beautiful and, of course, the battle damage. Another same Velos Raptor with the claw movements. Oh, here we go. This is my first ever blue. And um, really cool thing about this blue is it's the older one. And, yeah, it's got the, the battle damage with the blue. It's really sick. All right, getting into another uh, herbivore. We're getting into yeah, another herbivore. We have this Ankylosaurus type dinosaur, and you can kind of fling him, or you can twerk one of the two. Pretty sick though. Here's another a uh, awesome carnivore. I really don't like the way his mouth kind of doesn't open up. It kind of drives me nuts. Oh, I feel like it's gonna break his mouth, but still a sick dinosaur. We have a Parasophlophorus, or a Parasaur for short, you know, because shortening the names up does make sense. Uh, <laughs> but still a little awesome Parasaur from that uh, engine vehicle playset. I have no idea what he is called, but he's cool, and I know it's a carnivore. So, pretty awesome, and he's also got the dino damage. We're getting there, guys. We're getting there. Okay, so we have a battle damage... Dimitrodon. We have another carnivore, and he's kind of broken. Like, he broke the first day I bought him. So now he just kind of rocks out to whatever music you want to put on. He's supposed to go like this, where he's supposed to... Yeah, he's supposed to go like this. Go back up, and now he just kind of rocks out. Um, all right, we have Stiggy. And, yep, that's what I call him, because that's what his name was on the box when I first bought him, was Stiggy. So, pretty cool little dinosaur. Here we go, my first ever Dimitrodon. Love the coloration in this guy, and I also absolutely love the detail and uh, the way you can move his mouth. It's pretty sick. We have another herbivore. This one looks like a modified Stegosaurus. It's pretty sick. His mouth opens up. He's got this just so much awesome detail on him. Beautiful. Here we go, we have another uh, blue. This is my second blue Vlaus Raptor that I bought, and this one I did not like at all because he does that weird spring thing. I don't know what they're trying to do, but they don't, they just do backflips. I mean, like, uh, anyway, but it's still, it's still an awesome dinosaur. Here we go, we have Delta Charlie, one of the two, uh, one of the three thousand, I don't know, but still pretty awesome uh, Vlaus Raptor anyway. We have finally one of the flyers, pretty sick dinosaur this one's like not hard to find but it's still pretty cool i like the way you could push him in the middle and uh make the wings flap that's just it's so cool another flyer this one's a little bit newer this one you can't do that with um, but you can modify his wings and move his wings around and you can also open his mouth up and i like the way they molded his mouth it's so sick we have another dimitridon this one's got no da battle damage or nothing. This is the one that came with Alan Grant, I'm most certain. So, beautiful dinosaur. Oh, we got another little flyer. This one's pretty cool looking. Really tiny. I like how they have different varieties of dinosaurs. I do like that. Just don't like the big names. Next up, we have another Velociraptor. Who could do the uh, arm movements, but this one's all green. Oh, here we go. I thought this guy was adorable, so I picked him up. This cute little herbivore. So, and I love the detail on him. The, the coloration, the purple, the blue, and the yellow. It's a very cute little dinosaur, so I, I wanted to pick him up. Um, here's another newer dinosaur, this weird this weird carnivore with the battle damage. He's just got, like, a really freaky-looking face. <laughs> still, still awesome dino. We have another one of those Velociraptors. Here we go, we got a beautiful Dilophosaurus, a spitting Dilophosaurus, either came with Claire or Dennis Neardry, one of the two, I think this is the one that came with Claire, um, beautiful dinosaur, it got the spitting venom, here we go, we have another beautiful, scary looking dinosaur, very awesome, I like the way his mouth can open up, his arms can move, very poseable, very cool, another blue Velociraptor, with battle damage, we have this beautiful plesiosaur who can kind of swim. Kind of looks like he's just doing a tap dance, but still, 
beautiful dino. Love the blue. Speaking of blue, this sick looking triceratops like dinosaur. The face, oh my god, it's beautiful dinosaur. Love the coloration. This one really popped my eye. Like just not really no <laughs> no, but like uh it really like I looked at it and I'm like I have to buy this, you know. Alright, here's the Dennis Neardry Dilophosaurus. Absolutely beautiful. Love that I can spit venom. And the venom is also removable. So that's even cooler. Love it. Here we go. My first ever Dilophosaurus that I've ever bought. It's pretty sick. You can squeeze his belly. And uh, suck up the water. And he'll spit water out or venom out. So I think that's really gnarly. I think that's really cool. Okay, next up we have another uh, carnivore with battle damage. Love the coloration of this guy. That's why I picked him mostly. It was the blue and the, the gray. Beautiful coloration. We have another Triceratops-like dinosaur with a little bit of action here. Beautiful dino. We have another Gallimimus who can rock out to music um, or eat food, one of the two. Or headbutt. But anyway, still beautiful. Love the green and the brown coloration. Oh, here we go. We have this beautiful Velociraptor. This green Velociraptor really... Oh, this is the one that came with Ian Malcolm. Love the coloration on this guy. Absolutely beautiful. And we also have a little Beta in here. Blue's daughter. Absolutely cute. Adorable. But also fierce. And we have a little bit of... We have two copies in here. Celiophysis, whatever you want to call them, one of the two. Um, and got a bunch of these little locusts, which I just dropped one. They're pretty cool looking. Well, we have four more special dinosaurs, as I call them, but they're also part of the collection. We have this beautiful Hammond series, uh, Hammond collection, Velociraptor. Beautiful sculpt, beautiful mold. This one's a little bit more pricier, but I absolutely love it. We have this Hammond Collection Dilophosaurus. Beautiful Dilophosaurus. Love the coloration. We have another Pyroraptor with battle. I think this one's got battle damage. Yep. And last but not least, we have this little Stegosaurus, the baby Stegosaurus from Jurassic Park, The Lost World. Oh yeah, and his, uh, his spike can just randomly come up out of him. That scared me when I first got him. But yeah, guys, so that was my um, small dinosaur Jurassic Park or Jurassic World toy collection. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, do me a big favor and smack the like button. Subscribe to the bell icon to turn on so you never miss an upload. And you guys don't forget to stay awesome. See you guys later. Guys, look at this huge mountain of dinosaurs. That's awesome.